Hey everybody, it's John Anthony Chihok Soltero, and I am here with a big update on the Bubba Patrol 3, what, I, what I'm titling BP3. Um, I'm going all digital with this one from the script, which was outlined in you know WordPad and written in Celtics, uh, all the way to the finalized artwork, which everything is going to be done digitally on Clip Studio Paint. And the reason I chose the Clip Studio Paint platform was I got a free trial of it a couple of weeks back, about a week and a half ago. And it's a pretty easy transition from Photoshop to Clip Studio Paint. The main difference between Photoshop and all the other Adobe products and Clip Studio Paint is twofold. One, Clip Studio Paint is formerly Manga Studio. So it is, it was created specifically for making comic books and mangas. It was created specifically for this medium. Uh, whereas Photoshop is honestly, it's, it's a device to edit and correct photos. Um, a lot of people use it to do digital painting and digital illustration and stuff. And that's great, but that's not initially what the program was designed for. That's more kind of what Illustrator was. Um, and two, once you buy Clip Studio Paint, it's yours. You're not paying that that monthly subscription fee for the program. Uh, the The program itself, I really like it so far. It's got a decent variety of brushes, but now that you own the program, you can go and you can buy more brushes. Uh, the brushes I hear are pretty reasonably priced. They also have uh, templates for your pages. So even though you can't draw on the templates, which I found out the hard way uh, a couple days back, you can use them to line up your template, your actual page, and then just delete the template from underneath it. It uh, gives you activity on a specific panel, which is kind of cool. It's, it's a little tough to get used to at first, but it's a very necessary thing because they're all on different layers. You can merge the layers, you can add to them. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm doing what I would consider my roughs, like my, when I would do my eight and a half by 11 inch uh, half size rough of the previous books to line up where I was gonna put all my paneling, all my motion, all my storytelling on each page, and then go and do the 11 by 17. I'm working at finish size, on this digital piece, I'm putting a rough layer down and then on top of that rough layer, I'm gonna be doing the actual finish line work just like I would when I'm doing you know, the inks. Um, then I'm gonna go down, except I'm skipping like the pencil, the pencil, uh, I, I guess this is kind of like my pencil. It's between my, my rough layout, half size layout and my finish type pencil. And then I go to my, my inks where I can correct everything, make everything the right size. Um, and then I do my colors and it's even got word balloons and everything that you can add to it. You can use all the fonts from uh, blambot.com. So for all you independent creators out there, let me give a shout out, man. Blambot.com has saved me so many times. Originally, I believe it was probably the first two issues of Euthanasia were lettered using Comic Sans. Um, and that's not a joke, uh, it's actually legit. That's how I lettered the, those first couple of issues. Found blambot.com, where if you're an independent creator, like I am, you're not working for like Comic Craft, you're not working for a professional finished lettering company, and you're doing something creator-owned, you're independent, you can use their uh, all their fonts free of charge. Um, well, not all their fonts. You can use the free ones, but then you can buy extended fonts, uh, which will have all the extra stuff, and a lot of them were pretty reasonably priced as well. Um, now, to get back to the specifics of how this digital is changing things, along with my Cintiq and even my aging laptop, um, I'm on to, what am I on, page five of the pencil roughs, and we're getting some good progress. The story um, was originally going to be something different. Uh, I had wanted the story that ended up being in issue three to be a one-shot, a standalone one-shot that spun off from everything, talking about the origins of a different character. But instead, I started writing the outline last Wednesday, actually, and I, or actually two Wednesdays ago, 
Um, and I got to the point where the outline started making sense. I started writing the script, thought of more ideas, jumped back to the outline, wrote all the extra details in on the outline because I didn't want to miss anything. Just in case, you know, I had to go to bed to turn off my computer, you know, I'll have all this information saved. And I still have the outline. I still have the finished script. I printed the finished script and I'm working from that right now. And I have to say that I, I don't think Clip Studio Paint could have come to me at a better time because the Bubba Patrol is without a doubt the most organic story, the most organic book project I've ever worked on. Whereas Euthanasia, uh, you know, was very personal to me, still is very personal to me. And then Fuzzy Face was a whole lot of fun. Uh, the Bubble Patrol is that much more personal to me, so it makes so much more sense that it be organic. So the first issue started out telling an origin. And then the second issue, you kind of get a little bit more into that. The third issue, even though it is this one shot that I'm working on, uh, it's not it's not a one shot. It is issue three, but it it is um it is based on the one shot that I wanted to do. It does take the story full circle and it allows closure, but at the same time opening up a completely new storyline. Um, and that's when we're going to go to the change of format where I'm going to go to the graphic novel size, where we're going to do like the 36 or 48 page stories. Um, and then just put those out, hopefully one, at least one a year and, you know, get those stories told. Um, I'm super excited about a cameo that shows up, uh, in this book. I'm also, uh, it's actually kind of two cameos because even though the story was intended to be one way specifically, it became organic and this character's story kind of took on a life of its own and actually, uh, solidifies a lot of the things that I really wanted initially in this, in this title. So... I'm I'm glad you guys are along for the ride. I really hope you stick around for it because issue three stands out to be the best Bubba Patrol issue to date. And it's all new technology. It's all going to be done differently. Um, and I'm just really, really excited about it overall. So stick with us and uh, we'll be showing you updates. I don't want to show too much in terms of the artwork just because um, I don't want to give away too much but there's a there's a character reveal at the end of the issue as well as the jumping over to the next issue so we'll see you later have a good week